All right, are you ready to see a clean face on a toothless dog? It's very difficult because her tongue sticks out, but let's, we're gonna use a Walper Vera on a number nine. Okay, we're getting there. So you wanna make the V, like if her head would be go down, you can do a V or a U. I like a V because it's more, more feminine on the, the girl dogs. But if it were to go down, that's where you want it just to end. She's not gonna look as clean as other um, clean face poodles just because of what we're working with. Okay. So you go back where the eye, you're gonna make a straight line from the from the scene of the eye or the corner of the eye. I'm gonna give her a break. While I give her a break on her face, I'm gonna do the pads or the feet. And you know, it's crazy. I'm gonna switch it to a 40 blade, by the way. We're gonna put it back in here. You're gonna probably hear a bunch of alerts right now. I apologize. We're trying to pull a, a, a dog that needs rescue. I'm part of a, of a nonprofit rescue. Um, so I get all the notifications of what we're doing. Okay, hold on. Let's move you right here. Hold on. Good girl. Such a good girl. Such a good girl. Okay, last footsies. Look at that. That foot is impacted with hair. She grows fast. So I think I'm gonna do a summer cut on her. 
Just so she stays comfortable. Sorry, my, my GoPro shut off for some reason. So anyways, I did her sanitary, and then I'm gonna continue to do her face as she allows me to. It's not gonna look the best. So what I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my Wall Brevera, just cause she's a senior and um, I don't want to make that much noise with my clipper vac. Sometimes it's just not good to use the clipper vac with everything. Let me just clear this out. Okay. I'm still getting new to this GoPro situation. I want to make sure that I'm recording and I'm in the window. So it looks like with this level, I'm going to take about probably half an inch off. I'm going to do some of the body and then I'm going to see how it looks. Good girl, April. I don't want her to look that, like I want a summer cut, but not really, because she's an indoor dog, living her senior life, and even though it's really hot here in California, she does get cold. I think as, the, as one ages, human or animal, you get more affected by the climate outside. What do you think? This looks like a good length, huh? I'm thinking so. What do you think, April? How do you feel about this? Try to take as much hair and get it off the table as I can. And with this, I don't let, I don't make them stand if they can't. I just go around them. I know a lot of groomers want them to stand, blah, 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 blah. But here's the thing. I'd rather them have comfort than them look like a show dog. Yeah, of course my, you know, I've experienced and the, and the groom's gonna be sufficient. It's gonna look nice, but I'm not willing to, to risk their comfort for perfection, especially on a 14 year old miniature poodle. Hi, huh, April. I have to be really careful with her behind because she, for some reason, is ripping it raw. Let's see what's going on here. Hold on, baby girl. So I'm gonna have to take some scissors, take some of this off. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to get back to her mom. She had like uh, anal gland irritation. So I just wanted to let her know I took a picture of it and let her know that's a problem. But not to be worried about. I expressed her anal glands. She should be fine now. But you always want to document any like irritation. Of course, my client, well, she would never blame me for that, but like you just got to get in the habit of it. Because there are people that will claim injury for groomers that you have not done. So, 
I think this is a good length for her. What are you guys thinking? I like to scissor her legs. Sorry, you're gonna hear. Let me try to put this on mute. We, we're rescuing a underweight golden retriever right now. So, there. Abby. Abby's like the little guard dog. She like protects her smaller co-partners. Huh. She said, I'm thirsty. I'm drinking water. So I just shave one side. I like to, um, I don't have any rhyme or reason to this, but I like to get one side done completely before I do the other side or I forget things you know so we're just going to scissor this up huh baby girl and once again if you want her to sit down You just want to gently lift her up like this. And then you want to back brush. With the clipper vac, you don't need a back brush, but um, since I'm just using the wall Rivera, you want to back brush it. All right, April, you're starting to look like a beautiful poodle. Aren't you? Now this is by far no um, breed standard cut. I don't have any dogs that, especially poodles that want the breed standard cut. They're beautiful. I just don't have any clients that want the up to keep, you know? So I'm gonna go over here and be very careful about her, her private area. And this is a nice angulation for her. This is like my favorite straight shear. It's, um, oh my goodness. Well, it's from Affordable Grooming Shears. It's the, it's the straight, oh, Hitaki 440. It just helps like just do that straight line down. Sorry, my chair is very noisy. Isn't it? Hmm? And I do like to just slightly use my scissors to like just take just a little bit off. Just micro pieces, because I feel like if you do the micro pieces just a little bit, it like looks better, the finish. And you can help practice with your scissoring. Obviously, I hold my scissors unusually, as I've expressed before. And I would not recommend holding these scissors like this if you don't, if you haven't 
grown up holding scissors like this. So we're just gonna gently comb through her front leg to get any little knots out. There we go, girlfriend. Okay, see that? Take the ears up, and we are gonna take the body down. You want to put any pressure on her? Just barely hold her. Hold the ears up. We're gonna blend right here later, so that's why that looks like that. Okay. I'm gonna get my Zolita Zolita comb. I have no idea what this is. She only has like three combs. So this one, this helps um, fluff the coat out. to take some of this off. I'm gonna brush it a little bit better. Oh, huh, April. She does not get the clean feet. Just the clean face. We tried the clean feet when she first got her and because she wasn't used to it. It was just not good. Huh. He said, I did not like it at all. See how much it like brings up the volume? It's crazy. I'm going to show you a little trick that I do. I make the body. Come here, girl. Just checking up on Tinky. Tinky has medical problems. So you just got to make sure that she's okay at all times. Oh, here it is. So to make a sharper underneath belly, you take one length shorter. So I'm going to use the orange comb. Okay, be very gentle. Like this. Un underneath. 
And you see it makes like a nicer, nicer uptuck. See, looks really nice. That's a trick from, of the trade that I've learned myself. Okay. Oh, there goes my doggy making all these noise. Shh, Abby. Abby, lay down. So yeah, like, if any of the dogs go off, Abby is like on top of it. Like, oh, I want to be part of the fun. What are you doing? Hello? Why are you ignoring me? But you're gonna lay down, Abby, okay? Go take a nap. So yeah, I have a cage-free environment and I only do multiple dogs when they're from the same family. And if you can see this way, Tinky is on the orthopedic bed. Shh. It's okay. It's okay, Abby. There we go. It's looking It's looking better for my senior girl. She's actually, you know, for being neglected, she's actually in really good health otherwise. Let me just get this part of the body really quick. I just go as as she lets me. So see, she wants to sit down now. I'm okay with that. Huh? You're okay with that? And I don't want I don't want her to tug and hurt her ligaments, so I let go. Let me vacuum some of this up. back brush gently it's it's not it's very minuscule what comes off after the back brush but it just gives a better finish Okay, Abby is almost done. Do you hear her belly? Are you hungry? She said, I'm here way too early. I came here at 8 o'clock and I was sleeping. How dare you? I need my beauty sleep. Huh? You need my beauty sleep. It's okay. Hold on. Gotta be very gentle with it.
Okay. Good girl. Where are you going? You're not going anywhere. Mm -mm. Good girl. You're such a good girl. Okay, hold on. a quiet experience she's breathing pretty hard though at this point so I think she's a little stressed <sighs> Abby it's okay. I mean, April it's okay April it's okay This is like a daily occurrence of my dogs barking at nothing. Abby, Abby, it's okay, Abby, Abby, it's okay. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. Okay, so I'm gonna do that trick again of using uh, a length shorter. Do the up tuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One more time. And then just while I'm holding her, I'm just going to quickly straighten the inside up. Abby, it's okay. Shh. It's okay. You're fine. There we go. Good girl. Now you don't want to hold dogs like that if they have hip problems. But thankfully out of all the things that April has, she does not have arthritis as of yet. She's a little stiff for sure, but Okay, hold on, let me do the butt. Oopsies. Sorry about that, my battery died. Let me adjust this. There we go. So we're almost done with her. Just gotta do some of the leg. Some of the back leg, and then her head. Okay. 
so not bad. With the younger dog, of course you can go faster, but gotta give her breaks and Yes. Okay. Do you need something? Okay, bye. Love you. Okay. It's okay, Abby. It's okay. Your sister's almost done. You can go home. So to start the poodle face, you want to take a little layer of the front down first. cut straight across. <sighs> they like it. Um, like you would blend it in more, but they like not having that front hair in the front. And it's for, for seniors, it's, it's honestly better. So she has a huge top knot because of <laughs> her hair growing out. So to start this, you're gonna separate them from the bangs. Use a straight shear. And I'm gonna stand up for this because I need to be on top of her. We're gonna start a little to separate from the ears as well. So do you see like she's older, so her hair, even with the zoom, it does help the zoom. It does. But even with the zoom, she kind of has a very, very delicate, thin hair. So, so to start angle or to blend this in, you're gonna put her head down. Let me adjust this. There you go. Put your head down and with a long straight shear, you're just gonna start blending. Taking little chunks at a time. Okay, hold on, baby girl. Hold on. We're gonna 
start blending. And you see how it's starting to blend in? it's starting to blend okay I'm still trying to figure out this GoPro these GoPro angles that's why sometimes you see or all the videos you see my phone here displaying the camera because I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys the right angle to see do you know what I'm saying okay Her little front area is so funny that I have to do for her. Um, <laughs> that's not the standard like poodle cut. So you would cut, but you would do that front part, but you wouldn't cut all the way. So I'm gonna make this like probably half the size, but let me use first Eye Groom Magic Boost Scissoring Spray. Let me get my fluffing comb. I don't know if I ever mentioned, but these are Chris Christensen, that's Alita, and this is a Yento uh, finishing comb. And it just, it just pulls. <laughs> Look at how much hair that is. Oh, you know what? I just realized on this side I forgot part of her neck. Ma'am, where do we think we're going? Okay. Okay, remember, pushing to the center. And pushing down the ears for now. Now this is not, I'm not like the poodle queen. My friend Sheridan, she owns the standard poodle. Um, she does it all the time. I only have about three, four clients that like the top knot. Okay, now I'm gonna take the length off. We're going to probably take mm, half an inch off, maybe. S slowly but surely. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 10.35 a.m. Thank you. So you see it's already getting smaller, so we're going to continue. See, it's like slowly but surely shaping. And I think that's the size we're gonna do. It's pretty good for her. I am then going to grab out my Curve Mako Affordable Grooming Chunkers. These are revolutionary in helping you tow top knots. So I'm going to brush it all up. Then I'm going to start rounding it and softening the lines.
Now, most poodles get way bigger top knots, but because she's older, and I only see her every other month, every eight weeks, this is the appropriate size that we can deal with. You just want to start rounding that circle. See, it's turning to turn into a, a very cute, very cute round top knot. Let me balance out her ears really quick, just so I can, you're gonna find where the tip of the ear is. Okay. She has a little knot right there. I call these her summer, her summer um, ears. Very short. See the difference? Okay, let's see here. Hold on. There you go, there she is. Hi, my senior girl, my senior girl. Mm -hmm. You said this sweet girl. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this. Thank you so, so much, and you guys stay safe out there. Bye.